Adding and subtracting radicals. So to reiterate from previous videos, a radical is any symbol that is written inside one of these symbols, right? Which we typically know as a square root, right? So if we wanted to find the square root of nine, this symbol here is a radical symbol. Now, some of the rules for adding and subtracting uh, radicals is very similar to adding and subtracting right, um, polynomial terms, right? So we have something like 2x plus 3x. We can actually add these two together because they both have a common term x. So if we add 2x plus 3x, we're going to get 5x. Now, if we add the following, 2x plus 3y, we cannot simplify this. So in other words, 2x plus 3y is really equal to 2x plus 3y. And the reason why I bring this up is because radicals are kind of like these letters. They have to be exactly the same in order for it to work. So for us to be able to add or subtract radicals, these radicals have to be exactly the same. So let's look at, uh, at an example. Simplify if possible. 2 radical 3 plus 3 radical 3. So when dealing with this, right, let's imagine that x is equal to square root of 3. And please excuse me for showing it this way. Uh, I will erase this um, in a sec. So what we're going to do is instead of radical 3, we're going to put x because we're saying x is equal to radical 3. Don't, the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you guys to compare it with what I just showed you at the beginning. So 2x plus 3 radical x, right? This kind of goes back to the same thing as we talked about. Right, uh, 2x plus 3x is going to equal to 5x. But what did we say x was equal to? x was equal to radical 3. Right, so 5 radical 3. So in other words, can I add these two together? Yes, because the radicals are both exactly the same. So what does that mean that we need to do? Now I'm going to erase all this. Right, so again, apologize for any confusion that I may have brought. But we've got the two plus the three. So what we're adding is the number outside of the radical symbol because the radical is just radical three. We're not going to add them. It's not going to be radical three plus radical three. It will give me radical six. It will just remain as radical three. So it's kind of like putting in an X. That's why I showed it to you. So in other words, when we might add these two values together, two plus three, we're going to get five radical three. Next example, 6 radical 2 minus 4 radical 2 plus radical 2. So what we're doing here, again, the radical 2s are all exactly the same. So the radical 2 isn't going to change. The only difference is going to change is the values that are in front. So 6 is going to be subtracted by the 4 which is going to be added to, and there's no number outside. So when there's no number, it's really a 1. So we've got 6 minus 4, which will give me 2. 2 plus this 1 will give me 3. So the answer is 3 radical 2. This last example. If you look at this last example here, the two radicals are not exactly the same. We cannot even simplify them because there is no two numbers that will simplify this radical 10 or simplify this radical 6. So in other words, right, this cannot be completed. So this is the part where it says, if possible, and it is not possible. Simplify the following. So. Again, just like we said before, when we're adding or subtracting radicals, the two radicals have to be exactly the same. But before you jump and say, not possible, in fact, both of these are possible. So what we're going to do is, we're going to simplify the following. So what we're going to do is, another way of writing radical 18 is as follows, 9 times 2. Right? And then we're going to continue to write the 
minus radical two, right? So all we've done is expanded or, or, or simplified this 18 in a different way, a different way of writing this radical symbol. If you look at this nine, we know the nine can actually be square rooted. So in other words, another way of writing this is square root of nine multiplied by the square root of two subtracted by the square root of two. This square root, this minus radical two is really this. I've just kept it going. The only thing that I've done is, is change this radical 18. So what do I get here? Square root of nine, I get three. Three multiplied by radical two becomes three radical two. I carry this minus radical two. I keep that going, right? And now look at this question. This doesn't look any different from the one we did in the previous example. We can actually simplify this because both of these radicals are actually a radical two. So in other words, radical two doesn't change. Who cares that they're subtracted? Radical 2 isn't going to change. Isn't going to be affected by this negative symbol, by the subtraction. The only thing that's going to be affected by the subtraction is the number that is in front of our mixed radical. So it's 3 minus the no value, which is 1, which will give me 2. So the answer, me to simplify this, equals 2 radical 2. Let's look at the next example. Again, same rules apply. We look at it and we go, well, right away, well, not possible. But what you want to do is find numbers that can be square rooted and hopefully they can be simplified. So you might need to play around with the numbers a bit. So what we're going to get, let me just separate this side. Another way of writing radical 40 is radical 4 times 10, right? Plus, I want to somehow, see, if, if you look at this, I can square root this 4. This 10, I can't. So in other words, I want to make sure I have the value times 10 in this as a, as a possibility, right? So 10 times 9, right? So that other value had to be square rooted, right? To give me this 90 in here. So now let's simplify this and we get, oops, we get radical 4 multiplied by radical 10 plus radical 9 multiplied by radical 10. So what do we get? Well, we take each part on its own. So square root of 4 will give me 2. Oops. Square root of 4 will give me 2. 2 times radical 10 is radical 10. We're going to add it by square root of 9, which will give me 3. 3 rat multiplied by radical 10 is just radical 10. And now going back to the way the beginning of this lesson was, we can actually add if these radicals are exactly the same. And they are. So the radical 10 isn't going to change. So all we're going to do is we're going to add the 2 plus the 3 to give me 5. So this answer is 5 radical 10.